It's interesting. Uh, startup Nile yeah. uh, looks like they're launching a real NAS with Frontier. So maybe, well, a little bit of background on uh, uh, what Nile does and kind of how yeah. they fit into the overall networking uh, picture and remind people uh, what Frontier does would be yeah. great. You bet, Pat. So Nile's a startup. Um, John Chambers is an advisor and a board member, so that says something. You know, he was also tied to Pensando uh, before AMD acquired uh, Pensando, the DPU platform. Um, Nile's a network as a service, and you might think on the surface that, hey, there are plenty of network as a service offerings out there, but they're a little different. I think, Pat, you mentioned it at the very beginning. They are a blank slate. They are a grounds up brand new architecture. It's based on microservices for web scale. What uh, Nile intends to do or aims to do is eliminate the need for configuration of equipment, which they point to being one of the big Achilles heels that, that creates network issues. So legacy sort of configuration. And what their managed service does, it constantly monitors the, um, the tech stack comparing performance to baseline and automatically making adjustments to improve performance to meet um, SLAs uh, and to ensure the highest degrees of security. And because it is a, a blank slate, it's a brand new architecture, they can do some really interesting things with device isolation, both IoT and, and you know, devices that, that are not headless and, and do so in a zero trust fashion. So very innovative. It is a managed service, so um, for a lot of customers, that you know, from an IT perspective, you're sort of you're completely giving over control to Nile to manage this. But they've been slowly building their their install base. Now, Frontier is a fiber services provider, and um, what obviously what what Frontier sees in in Nile is an opportunity to sell that that service and drive incremental revenue into its business footprint. And you've seen a lot of, you know, uh, communication service providers, the cable companies getting into mobility uh, mm -hmm. and, you know, obviously in the broadband as well. And so this is Frontier's opportunity to do that. And so from my perspective, this might be just the first of, of many of these similar relationships that Nile engages in to really uh, drive the momentum behind their solution. Because like I mentioned, it is a, it is a complete managed service. I know when you look at HPE GreenLake, you, you and you know the Aruba stack. You've got you've got some managed service, but most of it is like SaaS and DIY. There's still some configuration stuff that has to occur, but but not with Nile. So it's it's pretty innovative. And I've had a chance to speak with executives, you know, over the last several weeks, and was pre-briefed on this announcement. But I think this is great news for Nile. I think it can really drive some significant momentum. Hey, Will, what um, where do you see uh, where do you see Nile fitting into the kind of the kind of the big picture? You know, I mean, it's so hard to compete with Cisco. I mean, they are the 800 pound gorilla here. And is this kind of a viable way? I mean, is this is this how you have to compete? You know, we're seeing the um, HPE uh, acquisition, right? Um, of Juniper. Yeah, yeah, Juniper. Is it is this how does this how does Nile fit into the big picture? I mean, it's a great question, and I think where Nile can really um, do some 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 damage, you know, in a good way, yeah, is within uh, the mid market, um, yes. you know, and especially as those mid market profiled customers are deploying into you know new branches and new locations and that sort of thing. More more greenfield. I mean, to your point, uh, Cisco has an extensive install base. Certainly, HPE and in Juniper, as they come together, they'll they'll become the second 800-pound gorilla um, in, in that regard. But but I do see an opportunity for Nile with that with that mid-market profile customer, and it's going to be sort of net new sort of opportunities because you know it's going to be hard for a lot of large enterprises to not not only rip and replace, but to kind of you know provide you know the entire keys and and, and let someone else drive the car at the same time, as it were. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're spot on uh, that mid market. I mean, I didn't have the answer knowing, you know, mm -hmm. I don't ask questions that I typically know the answers to, but <laughs> it seems like this would be like if you're going to if you're going to hit him in you're going to hit Cisco in an area, you're going to hit him in the in the mid market. 
And you know, the, my, my other thought is potentially even uh, startups who yeah. find it, while most startups go cloud first, even Andreessen Horowitz is recommending to all its portfolio companies that you have to spread the IT out and have hybrid cloud. And when you have hybrid cloud or you have major on, on premises, you, you have to have networking, yeah. right? Yeah. And like, if you have an office, you have to have networking. And it seems like a, uh, a really good fit. 